10 multi-billion mega construction projects ongoing in Ethiopia. On March 1, 1896, in the Battle of Idwa, an Ethiopian army led by Emperor Memelik II dealt a crushing defeat to the invading Italian forces. Menelik was able to exercise his authority over a vast territory following his victory, which included both the historical, ancient kingdoms of northern and central Ethiopia, as well as the vast, resource-rich territories in the west and south that he had previously conquered. The egalitarian nature of the victory brought together Ethiopia's diverse peoples against a common foe, allowing Menelik to establish a new Ethiopian nation. Ethiopia is a country at the Horn of Africa, and it is the second most populous country in Africa. The largest city and capital city, Addis Ababa, is a bustling city hub with strong commercial prospects and unique cultural attractions. As home to the headquarters of the African Union and the host city of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, ECA, Addis Ababa is also regarded as the political capital of Africa and is driving the new growth narrative of the nation. Ethiopia is among East Africa countries that have been ranked to have a fertile land for construction business to flourish. The construction industry in the region is growing and offering a green market through the various ongoing mega-projects. With its rich cultural heritage that dates to over 3 million years ago and its amazing natural splendor, Ethiopia is a compelling destination that is on course to achieve transformational growth over visionary development initiatives. Let's take a look at 10 multi-billion mega construction projects ongoing in Ethiopia. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you are missing out. 10. Fairfax Oil Refinery Project Fairfax Africa Fund, a U.S.-based investment firm, in collaboration with multiple partners from Asian countries is planning to build an oil refinery in Ethiopia with a total investment cost of $4 billion U.S. dollars. Zeminene Nagabu, global chairman of Fairfax Africa Fund, told a reporter that his company has undertaken the feasibility study. According to Zeminene, Fairfax Africa Fund is working on the project with Asian investors whose core business is oil trading and infrastructure development. Our initial plan was for our investors to be from Asia but more recently, we were approached by American financiers who are interested in the project. So we may end up with financiers both from Asia and the US, he told the reporter. The investors have evaluated several places including Djibouti where the oil refinery will be built and finally selected a wash town 221 km east of Addis Ababa. A wash is found in the Afar regional state in the Ethio-Djibouti corridor where the national fuel depot of the Ethiopian Petroleum Supply Enterprise is located. A wash is selected as the ideal place by the authorities, Zemedine said. A U.S.-based investment firm is collaborating with partners from Asian countries to build an oil refinery in Ethiopia. 9. Koisha Hydroelectric Project The new Koisha Hydroelectric Project located in southwest of Ethiopia will be the fourth of a cascade of dams along the Omo River, after the Gildal Jibe 1, Jibal Jibe 2 and Jibal Jibe 3 hydroelectric project. The Koisha plant will have an installed 2,200 megavolts of an annual production of 6,460 gigawatts. Selenium Pregulo continues to be a partner in development for Ethiopia as it will build a new hydroelectric plant in the Koisha area. The new mega project is worth $2.5 billion and will have an installed capacity of 2,200 MW. The client is the Ethiopian Electric Power EEP. The project includes a 170-meter high-rolled compacted concrete RCC dam. The reservoir volume is 6,000 million cubic meters. The hydroelectric plant will annually produce 6,460 gigawatts. The country has been rapidly growing for many years now and will soon become the driving force of the African continent. 
The large infrastructure projects that have characterized the past few years do not only sustain growth, but also contribute to achieving the goal of transforming Ethiopia into Africa's energy hub. As of today, Ethiopia exports energy in Kenya, Sudan and Djibouti, its closest countries. The authorities do not exclude reaching markets like Europe and the Middle East in view of the potential of the hydroelectric plants being built. This new important project together with Jide 3, which went into operation recently in Jurd, the Grand Renaissance Dam on the Blue Nile will enable Ethiopia to become Africa's leader in terms of energy production. Eight, Laguerre. Laguerre, the master plan community by Eagle Hills, is located in the heart of Addis Ababa in the historical setting of the Laguerre train station. Eagle Hills is investing in Ethiopia as part of its concerted focus on unlocking the true potential of such spectacular locations across the world. With its mixed-use developments and residential offering, Eagle Hills is reaching out to people to explore Ethiopia with their own homes in the country. Celebrating the heritage of the city, the revitalization of the land with its rich historical context will further energize the economy while also bringing back to life a hub that stays fresh in the memory of people. Laguerre can be effortlessly accessed from the Addis Bowl International Airport in addition to a metro line along its northern border. One of the largest of its kind integrated lifestyle communities in Ethiopia, Laguerre features more than 4,000 residences set in an area of over 360,000 square meter. Adding to the lifestyle choice of residents and catalyzing the economy are commercial, hospitality, retail and leisure attractions, all set in a gated community around a green park. Laguerre represents the dynamic downtown of Addis Ababa, boasting one of the largest mixed-use developments in Ethiopia with over 4,000 residences. 7. Beautifying Shedger Beautifying Shedger is a project sponsored by the Ethiopian government that aims to clean rivers and create public works in the capital city, Addis Ababa. It was launched on 27 February 2019 under Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and aims to run for three years. Beautifying Shedger aims to increase tourism and quality of life, reduce the effects of climate change and create jobs in Ethiopia's capital city by developing green spaces from Entoto to a khaki wastewater treatment plant. 6. Mesub Tower An architect who seems to be fascinated by the symbolism of Mesub, an essential item in Ethiopian household in all parts of the country, came up with a proposal to build a 70-story building in the capital Addis Ababa. The ministry did not mention the name of the architect. Mesub signifies unity, covenant, and togetherness. The Ministry of Culture and Tourism apparently liked the project idea, which is going to be a public-private partnership and discussed it with relevant authorities. As it turns out, the ministry is now considering the project seriously, and it seems the case there is a positive response and seeks to complete it in five to six years. Mesub Tower is unique and reflects Ethiopia's culture. The public-private partnership development upon completion will contribute to inflow of tourists and will also enhance the positive image of the country. The 70-story development will be located in the country's capital city in Addis Ababa. When complete, the 681 million US dollar project will contribute to inflow of tourists and will also contribute to the positive image of the country. The 250 meters high-rise building will be built on a 20,000 meter square of land and will have hotels, shopping malls, a cultural center that is representatives of all regions of Ethiopia, a gym and a golf club, among other things. Construction started early this year and completion is expected in 2024. Five largest airport in Africa. Ethiopian Airlines is currently operating flights out of Bold International Airport in Addis Ababa, the country's capital. The airport looks very beautiful and large, but with the growth that we see every year, in about three or four years, we are going to be full," Jebra Mariam told DNA. That being said, they are moving ahead with building the airport, which they are calling Absura. As it stands, Bol International Airport has a capacity to handle 19 million passengers annually. The new airport is also expected to significantly reduce congestion at Bol. 
the rapid growth of Ethiopian Airlines, being the largest airline in Africa by fleet size and revenue, has not kept up with the air infrastructure. Ethiopia is set to construct the largest airport in Africa in Bishoftu, a town located 39 kilometers southeast of the capital Addis Ababa. The 5 billion US dollar airport is expected to cover an area of 35 square kilometers. 4. Lapset Project Lapset was launched on March 2, 2012 by the then Kenyan President M.Y. Kibaki, late Ethiopian Prime Minister Mil Sanawi, and South Sudan's President Salva Kiir. The Lapset Corridor Program is Eastern Africa's largest and most ambitious infrastructure project bringing together Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. This mega-project consists of seven key infrastructure projects, starting with a new 32-berth port at Lamu, Kenya, inter-regional highways from Lamu to Isialo, Isialo to Juba, South Sudan, Isialo to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and Lamu to Garson, Kenya, crude oil pipeline from Lamu to Isialo, Isialo to Juba. Like any other major project, the Lapset Corridor Project has come under criticism for its social and environmental impacts. The civil society organization Save Lamu has raised concerns regarding insufficient involvement of local communities, as well as land right and negative environmental impacts. Affected pastoralists in Turkana County have complained about a lack of consultation. In Lamu, a petition by local fishermen furthermore criticized the project of violating their right to adequate information. Affected people living on community land, in particular pastoralists, have raised concern about violation of land rights in association with the Lapset. Inspire of all this criticism, the dream of the Lapset Corridor lives on. 3. Genial Dawar Hanlui Hydroelectric Power Plant Genial Dawar Dmi Multipurpose Hydropower Project, also called GD, 3 is a 254 megawatts hydroelectric power project situated in the Genial Dawar River Basin in southeast Ethiopia. The GD3 project took nine years for completion and was inaugurated in the first quarter of 2020. Owned and operated by the Ethiopian government, the project was developed by China Jijaba Group, a member of China Energy Engineering Group. Genial Dawa 3 hydroelectric plant has consumed a total investment outlay of 451 million US dollars, out of which about 67.8 million US dollars was covered by the government of Ethiopia. The remaining was covered by a loan. The project was initially launched in 2010, but was temporarily suspended for more than a year due to setbacks related to resettlement of residents living close to the dam. 2. Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. The 752.7 km Ethiopia Djibouti Railway Modernization Project, also known as the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, is the first modern electrified railway line in East Africa. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is a new standard gauge international railway that serves as the backbone of the new Ethiopian National Railway Network. The railway was inaugurated by Prime Minister Hilamariam de Salen on January 1, 2018. The modernization is expected to provide landlocked Ethiopia with faster access to the port of Djibouti, linking Ethiopia's capital of Addis Ababa with Djibouti and its port of Doriel. The project is jointly owned the governments of Ethiopia and Djibouti and constructed by China Railway Group and China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation CSEC. The railway connecting Ethiopia with Djibouti via Dire Dawa is a 780-kilometer meter gauge line opened in 1917. It is the only railway line that connects landlocked Ethiopia with Djibouti port, a major cargo entry point, but deteriorated due to a lack of maintenance and management. 1. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam the Jurd project formerly known as the Millennium Dam and sometimes referred to as Hidis Dam, is a gravity dam on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia under construction since 2011. It is in the Bin Shangled Yumas region of Ethiopia, about 15 km east of the border with Sudan. At 6,450 megawatts, the dam will be the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa when completed, as well as the seventh largest in the world. The primary purpose of the dam is electricity production to relieve Ethiopia's acute energy shortage and for electricity export to neighboring countries. The project is currently 71% complete and once completed, 
The reservoir will take from 5 to 15 years to fill with water. Filling the reservoir began in July 2020 and will take between 4 and 7 years to fill with water, depending on hydrologic conditions during the filling period and agreements reached between Ethiopia, Sudan, and Egypt. It has, however, faced various challenges, including the regional dispute over the flow of River Nile, delays, and also cancellation of the initial contract with Medec, which is run by the Ethiopian military. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so as not to miss out on any of our amazing videos on Africa, entrepreneurship, and personal development. Help our channel grow.